Have fun in bed with Stoke Mandeville Hospital Radio. 1575. It's Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. It can only mean one thing. It's the Rock and Latin Fusion Show here on 1575 with me, Carol, standing in for Shezza. We have already got some interesting conversation happening in the studio here about tattoos. Very pleased to welcome the Makeout Kids. Hello. Hello. They're back playing for you live this evening and we're trying to get them to play a Rock and Latin number, but we're not convincing them. We're not. I'm not sure how. No. <laughs> Joining in with the chat and her very own quiz, our lovely Pam Chambers. Welcome hello, back. Hello, thank you for inviting me. Perfect. We shall be talking to you about your book and how well it's doing. Brilliant. But yes. first, we have a bit of a shimmy to Jennifer Lopez. Watch the bum. Bit of J-Lo. A bit of J-Lo there and waiting for tonight, kicking off Rock and Latin Fusion. Now, we're having a bit of a hilarious conversation in the studio because Paul from Makeout Kids um, revealed that he learnt Latin at school. But, Paul, what's your confession? I didn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> he completely forgot everything he was taught at school. So we're true no musician. For, true musician. We're no further forward. So well, we are a little bit, Carol, because he tried to speak Latin, but it was just yes. English in an accent. Yes, Paul, would you give us your Latin accent, please? Hello, hello, <laughs> hello, hello, hello. So if you're listening in the hospital or online and you do speak Latin, please give us a call here and help me out. Oh one two nine six double three fifteen seventy five, and give us a bit of Latin because we tried to look it up on the internet. And as with most internet um, activities, it makes things worse. I now know how to say licencia nostra super. <laughs> no way. <one. laughs> is that I've forgotten my socks? I think that is that I've forgotten my socks. Sound like you were talking something about a nostril. <laughs> yes, my nostril is rather large. <laughs> anyway, we have a packed programme of marvellous Latin and rock tunes for you this evening. And also, Pam, you have a quiz. So explain I to do. us. What yes, your quiz I is. sort of, I'm ever so sorry. Huge apo- I sort of missed the Latin fusion bit completely as well. Because you weren't went, told. went off piece. <laughs> no, went off piece. No change there, then, I know. So I've got a wonderful quiz that's based on music themed films good so we're going to get yeah, a bit of paper only, later i'm, I'm now a little quiz. bit scared because i think the these the guys gentlemen just sat next us. to me are just going to be too young to know any of the answers no i think they're quite they're dark horses i i mm-hmm. think they may yeah. need your support carol well we'll try mm. Mm. now guys since we last spoke to you and heard you play in the studio you did your Cafe Aloha gig. We did do our Cafe Aloha gig. And Is they that do Latin? Do pancakes. <laughs> they, do, they, do, they do do pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> it, just to explain, our, our make-out kids, our guests um, were telling us all about their upcoming gigs. And for some reason, I asked if this cafe did pancakes. And they do. They do, they do. They do, they yes. do, they do, they do. They do, they do. <laughs> Talking Latin, Latin again. <laughs> <laughs> How did the gig go? How did you go down? I enjoyed it. Yeah, I think it went yeah. quite well. Yeah. They're Where very modest, yeah. these guys. Well, shall, Pam, shall we treat you to a song from the Makeout Kids and then we can do our that quiz. That would be lovely, yes please. Okay. What okay. do we fancy guys? What do you think we'll, we'll play? It's totally up to you because everything you play is marvellous. I think we're going to play our first ever song we ever wrote. Um, we're dedicated to you. Bless. Even though it's actually about Alan. It's not the idiots one. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the idiots one, is it? No, no, it's not idiots, I promise. No, 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 no. I was getting worried then. What's the name of the song? Uh, it's called My Best Friend. Oh, See, they're, they're smooth, these guys, they aren't really they? really are. Yeah, yeah. Playing, Wait till the quiz comes yeah, exactly. around. Exactly. We'll trounce them. Playing for a second time here live on Stoke Man Water Radio. Ooh, make out, kids. And my best friend. Take it away, gang. Okay, this song's called My Best Friend.
So please excuse this cheesy music. T-shirt, a boatload of work, a burden on these happy teenage boys outlook. Survive the bully days, our secrets locked away. Our bodies may have changed, but our minds stay the same. And through it all, you were there. When no one else seemed to care, yeah. You're my best friend. You're my best friend. To the tenor. You are my best friend. So please excuse us for being useless. You are my best friend. Kids playing live here on Stoke Manville Hospital Radio. I'm going to give the microphone to Pam. Pam, now do you know what I mean? I'm just amazed. That was <laughs> absolutely wonderful, fabulous. Thank you. And just and you know, watching you sing it as well. I which love was it. Was a pleasure, and I know that the listeners missed that, but it, it was absolutely very special. Thank very you. Very emotional, wasn't it? And did I did you actually beautiful. notice my face goes very red when I sing? You go. You're both very emotional, and I loved that because it shows that you're singing from the heart, which is yeah. fantastic. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Yeah, and and I love the fact you two get on so well. And I said to you, Pam, they're just lovely guys. They really are. That was yes. special. Thank oh, you. Thank you. That's thank our you. first of our live tracks by Makeout Kids. Now I, I voted for you in that competition, that Ox Ox Jam. Or Ox something. Jam. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's a lot of bands taking part in that, isn't there? So I thought, right, give you my support. Voted for it. Thank you very much. Um, thank you very much, Carol. Now, <laughs> that's okay, Paul. <laughs> um, but obviously, we were talk- talking before that you love gigging live, and it, there can't be anything that beats the feeling of gigging live and watching our pleasurable reaction. Pl- we're just just really pleased to hear it. No, no, yeah, it's really good. Uh, I love playing live. You know, anticipating. Yeah, yeah you didn't get, get any eggs this time. And... Yeah, trying to get people involved, even though not many people clap or <laughs> and stuff. We still try. Do you get stage fright? Good question. We did at first. Yeah, for the bigger ones, I think we do. Sort yeah. Because our first ever gig was just in front of friends. Yeah. So it was like, just, I don't know. It's ever since we started. Our first proper gig was at the Bell. Um, and that was The and that Bell was and Bista, which yeah. is a big venue, yeah. isn't it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. We actually played in Costa Coffee as well. Costa yes. Coffee. See, yeah. we Pam and I are addicted to coffee. Yeah, we, so we always meet in Costas. A, yeah, we have. So we, could, yeah, perhaps Costas. you could come to Costa mm. in Wendover. And, uh, How did you end up playing in Costas? Oh uh, my, girl, my girlfriend you. actually works there. She oh, works and, um, there. He's a lovely girlfriend. Yeah. Say hello to your girlfriend. Keep hello, happy. Hello, 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 Steph. Hello, Steph. <laughs> you must great be very pancake proud. maker. She's a great, is she? Yeah. Oh, and the Steph. Oh, yes, yes, you said she's very good. His Steph is very good at making everything. She's very good cook. And he didn't bring us any in. No, he didn't. She made me pasta today. She made him pasta. Honestly, mm. I that's did, a bit. I did contribute. I washed up. 
he washed up and he's evolved man. Mm. Now, as we've been speaking, we have our first um, request in, and this is for Pam, and who's who's also a nanny, and this is for Nana Chambers Aww. from her Aussie a nanny, and uh, they <laughs> have uh, emailed in and said, "Good luck on the radio, Nana. We love you." Aww. Also, shout out to Trevor Bruton, their grandpa, who's poorly in the hospital at the moment. Yeah, so, he's in one of yes. the wards. Love so him. we'd like to say a big hello to you, Trevor. I'm um, sending you lots of love, um, and they've requested a song for you. Um, so we're going to give you this song. It's Grease, Frankie Valley, and then we're going to get some pens and paper, and we're going to play the music quiz and see how we do. Brilliant, doing. brilliant. Thank you very much. More to come here on Stoke Man Impossible Radio between now and eight o'clock for the alleged Latin and rock fusion. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> And Frankie Valley there, Greece, for our Pam, our first request in this evening. Now, we've got to reveal something live on air. While we were speaking, Paul's other half, Steph, um, texted him and said, you did not did not wash up. No, I dried up instead. <gasps> oh, right. So we'd like to... Big on the radio. Yes. Sorry. Like we'd <laughs> formal apology to everyone. <laughs> we'd like to point out that he didn't actually wash up, you dried up, which is great, I think. It's still handy house husband. Exactly. It's still, it's, it's Steph, he's, just, it's obviously you're working on him, so it's himself. fine. I'm trying to. You can redeem yourself even further now, she says, um, fading down Frankie Valley. Sorry, Frankie. Um, with our Pam's music quiz. Now, Pam, how many questions have you got for us this evening? I've got ten, so do you want to split them into two we'll halves? We will split them into two halves. just do half? Well, no, we'll, split, we'll do the first okay. five first and see how we go, gang. Okay. And then um, we'll have another song, and then maybe we can hear from our make out kids again okay carol no no help in them right okay you make you you're implying Breakout that i'll kids? know the answers are here. you doing it as a team yes i do yeah, it as we're, a team as one okay, okay so, kids, so yeah. if you <laughs> team make out yeah. team luke team casa if you are listening on the wards get your pen and paper ready and um see if you can answer these uh five taxing questions okay here question we one go. Tam, i'll call you tam then question Thank one you. tam <laughs> okay number one what Bruce Willis action movie got Aerosmith their first UK number one record with I Don't Want to Miss a Thing? Oh, you know, he was about to say. No, put, write it down, write it down. Bruce see, Willis oh, see they're going to be movie. better than me. Aerosmith, I Don't Want to Miss a Thing got to number one. What was, what was the movie? I think that's how he's and... Question two. Number two. In Dirty Dancing, yes. what song did Johnny and Baby have their last dance to? Oh, uh, see, he knows. I don't know these Paul's things. Paul's got this covered. <laughs> What's it called? Come on, think about the movie. She's on the stage, jumps into his arms. What's the song? I've watched that movie many times. I'm I sure. don't you love that? I'm such nobody, a girl. Nobody puts baby in the corner. God. Yeah, so then what do they dance to? Right, oh, okay. I've nobody puts down. Luke in the corner. Nobody puts Luke in the corner, do they, Luke? Okay. He puts himself in the corner. Right, question three. <laughs> this one might tax the boys a little bit more. I doubt it. They're, they seem like they're, they're doing <laughs> very well. In what film does Lee Marvin sing Wandering Star? Oh, I wouldn't know this. Uh, See, look, Paul's... Was born How do you know all this? under a wandering star. Oh, I'm, I'm just making it up now. <laughs> I'm just making it up. If you're listening, please phone in and support me because I'm not doing very well. Now, question four. <laughs> Number four. In the movie Some Like It Hot... Jack Lemon and Tony Curtis pretend to be ladies in a girls only band. What instruments do they play? I threw that at one again because it's my favourite film of all time. <laughs> okay, I have no idea, but I just guess. Okay. We're not doing too well here, Luke, are we? Oh. It's my own oh, show you'll get this, and I know. Right. You'll, okay, you'll, okay, you'll get this okay, one. You'll get this one. It's the Muppets okay, one. Okay, number one. five. In Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, oh, with dear. Kevin Costner, the title theme was a number one record that oh. ran for 16 weeks. What was the song? Right, Kevin I know that Costner, one. Kevin Costner, Prince of Thieves, the song ran as number one for okay. 16 weeks. So... I think the boy is guessing. <laughs> well, I think they've done better than me. So should we give the answer to the first five and then yes. we'll come back? Yeah. Okay. okay. So, um, number one then. Number one, what Bruce... Well, his action movie had Aerosmith, their number one record in the UK. Uh, is it Apocalypse? No, no. What? I put Die Hard. No, no. <laughs> I thought it was Apocalypse. Rubbish. I mustn't say. Mustn't swear on air. What is it? Is it Armageddon? Armageddon. I don't begin Nearly. with A. <laughs> 
Right, uh, uh, across for me, if you are listening on the wards, I hope you're doing much better. Um, okay, I think number you're on two. the right track, Paul. You're yeah. on the right, yeah. on the right track, two. but the thing is the train's coming towards him. What did Johnny and Baby <laughs> dance to for the last dance in Dirty Dancing? So uh, I it's had the time Bill Medley and Jennifer Warren, yeah. so no? I've had the time, time of my life. life. It certainly oh, is. Oh, it is, so we've got, we've got that. Had hey. time of my yeah. life. Well done. Here's where we go downhill. Yeah. <laughs> this is where we go downhill. This is rapid now, number three. what film does Lee Marvin sing Wandering Star? Well, we put the Little Mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> I put a White Christmas. Yeah. Awful, <laughs> dreadful. I little just had Mermaid. On my mind. <laughs> Paint your wagon. Paint your wagon. And I'm you know, trivia, trivia here for you. <laughs> um, in in Paint Your Wagon, Clint Eastwood actually sings the song called "I Talk to Trees." Well, mm, there's a the trivia now. clip for you. Anyway, <laughs> number <Right>. four. <laughs> In the movie Some Like It Hot, Jack Lemmon and Tony Curtis pretend to be ladies in a girls only band. The instruments that they play are I've put guitars. <laughs> okay, I'm not good. This, is, this was Alan who put I'm this. I'm confident of this. What have you put? Is you it put mashed potato? <laughs> I'm sorry. I think he's potato. gone mad. He put mashed potato. <laughs> he put mashed potato. Okay, they play They're the quite weird these in both fiddle, aren't they? Right, no. Okay. The farm, yeah. Right. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves with Kevin Costner. Title theme was number one that ran for 16 weeks and the song was... And everything I do, yes! I do it for you. Did you get that, boys? No, we just put not a clue. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got two out of five. How did you do, guys? Uh... One. One. one out of five. I think you're going to do better on the second round. Okay. Well, I don't know if you're going to give me half a point for number one, because I begin with A. Begin with A. Yeah, you gave the wrong, the wrong answer. <laughs> You've joined us for rock and Latin I think you get half a point for number one. She's going to give you half a one point. One and a half, then. <laughs> now on to our rock track. A bit of police message in a bottle here. On SMHR. Um, we have got our make-out kids about to play a mashup and the last time Pam they were in the studio they gave one of the best performances of the year because what they did was amazing so we thought we'd hear from you guys and then we need to cross over to Pam and find out the latest about her book The 13th Torment this is doing rather well in the uh, the, the charts in the sale in the Amazon charts so we shall speak to her but Pam feast your ears on this guys tell us what you got in store for us we've got a mix of everything really yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, we call this medley the Blitz Creek medley this is Make Out Kids and the Blitzkrieg medley here on 1575am. Stay tuned. Hey, ho, let's go. Hey, ho, let's go. Hey, ho, let's go. Hey, ho, let's go. We're going in a straight line. We're going through a tight wine. The kids are losing their minds. Blitzkrieg pop. We're going in the back seat. It generates heat. We're safe in the backbeat, Blitzkrieg bop. Hey, ho, let's go, shoot them in the back now. What they want, I don't know. They're all revved up and ready to go. Down in Louisiana, close to New Orleans. Deep among the woods and the evergreens. Later, a log cabin made of earth and wood Where lived a country boy named Johnny B. Good He never really learned to read or write so well But he could play a guitar just like a ring in a bell Go, go Go, Johnny, go, 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 go, go Johnny B. Good a punk, she did ballet, what more could I say? He wanted her, but she never tell, cause secretly she wanted him as well. All of the friends stuck up the nose, they had a problem with his baggy clothes. He was a skater boy, she said see you later boy, he wasn't good enough for her. But she had a pretty face, but her head was up in space She needed to come back down to earth There is a house in New Orleans They call the rising sun And it's been the ruin of 
have a many poor boy and God I know I'm one My loneliness is killing me and I I must confess that I still believe still believe when I'm not with you I lose my mind Give me a sign Hit me baby one more time Just a small town girl Living in a lonely world She took the midnight train going anywhere Just a city boy Born and raised in South Detroit She took the midnight train going anywhere Don't stop believing And hold on to that feeling Street lights, people Don't stop believing and hold on to that feeling Street lights, people And now she does it like this When you do it like that She touches like this When you touch her like that She moves like this When you move her like that Come on, shake, 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 shake it 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 Oh, hokey cokey Oh, hokey cokey Oh, hokey cokey Knees bent, arms stretched, rah, rah, rah Na, 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 na 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 na, hate you. Na 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 na, hate you. Na 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 na, hate you. One more time. Na 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 hate you. Whoa, guys! Make out kids and their blitzkrieg mashup. I'm what I love, guys. Get to the microphone, Pam. I love people's faces. Pam's face as you went into each song, Pam. How much fun? Do you know, it was so hard not joining in. I mean, I didn't know all of them. I didn't know all of them. But it was really hard not to join because it was so much fun. It really was brilliant. It's Absolutely. amazing how much you can do just on two guitars, isn't uh, it? Well, two it's acoustics. amazing how much you two can do. It's amazing. And I'm hoping, yeah. hoping if you're listening on the wards or you're listening on the internet at home that you are enjoying Make Out Kids. We have half an hour left on the show, so more from the guys. But I think it's time for one of these. Feels good, feels great. You're joining us here on Stoke Mandelpost Radio for a rock and Latin fusion. Our Sheza is sunning herself um, somewhere glamorous. Um, so we're standing in for her this week. And Pam, our lovely crime reporter, crime reporter, crime writer. You could be a crime <laughs> reporter, couldn't you? Now, your book, The 13th Torment, we followed it with interest. You have. Now, Bless how's you. it going? It's doing amazingly well. Mm-hmm. Um, it's been out on Kindle, as you know, for a while yes. on Amazon Kindle and you can download it on iTunes and any other e-reader. Yep. But the Kindle sales over the last three months have just been fantastic. I don't know, you know, whether it's because Kindle are, you know, keep promoting it, people yep. are, you know, reading it and then recommending it to their friends. But I'm, I'm a gog now. I've got to the point where I'm just absolutely delighted. I'm so thrilled. And as you know, the paperback version came out recently. Yes. Because my mum doesn't have a Kindle. Um, <laughs> so because of her, I had to bring it out in a paperback version as well and it was exciting um, when Pam bought in the paperback now for the guys explain the sort of the rough outline of the story because okay. it's very compelling well the, the story is um, I used to be a police officer and I finished 
my job in the police on the child protection unit is a specialist child um, abuse investigator. Um, now I want to make it very clear that the 13th torment is not about child abuse, it's actually a very traditional detective crime story but it's seen through the eyes as the investigation unfolds of the child protection unit because it starts with a boy found at the scene um, of a man burning to death in a garden shed and nobody knows who the boy is or why he's there and because of their expert knowledge with local children child protection unit get brought in as more and more kids get dragged into this investigation and the really the the gist of the story is the reader is supposed to become part of the investigation and decide yourself who you think is a victim and who you think is a villain and most people having read the book tell me that they get a very clear idea and then change their minds and then swap back and then it gets a bit blurred mm. and and so it works and you know things are not always clear cut they're not always black and white people are not always on one side of the fence mm. you know and you start with the premise that children are always victims um, and you might sort of rethink that slightly as the book goes on but it's it's pure fiction it's based on a job that I did in the police force it's seen through the eyes of a, a very different um, department within the police I've tried to um, make it sound realistic and people who've read it have been kind enough to say mm. you know all the banter that goes on in you know in a police station all of that is all you know part and parcel of the book um, but nobody so far even though it's been selling really really well and the feedback's been just lovely um, I've not heard yet that anybody's actually guessed the ending ah. now when I came in last yes. and we gave Dan yes. a paperback do you know if he guessed the ending he, Carol? he kept um, guessing it but wrongly no, so see? he didn't so, it, no, so, so guys still, now there's a chance hmm. for you to read the book pam we've got an exclusive yes. offer for us well thank you carol for your support because i've just you know i've been absolutely thrilled to be here and be part of this show and be speaking to once you once you're on, on this show occasions. i'm afraid there's no escape but you get the rah 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 carol for any of your any of your <laughs> listeners tonight or on your monday show yeah. um if they want to write in email text or whatever and, and and send an email address if you'd be good enough to pass it on to me mm. i will give them a free download of the 13th torment exciting now if you're listening and you'd like a free do- download i say free donut free donut <laughs> You'd like a free donut and a free download. What more do you want donut. from us? Paul would like a free donut, wouldn't you? Oh, I'd love a free donut. <laughs> um, email him us here. Email must here. Email me here, studio at mhr.co.uk. It's just all these this okay musical, there, cre- <laughs> musical creative talent and donuts. And um, one studio emails at studio at smhr.co.uk and we will make sure you get your free download of the 13th Torment. Now, Pam, we spoke to you about the sort of creative process and you say you have a very set mm. pattern of writing. Now, guys... In terms of songwriting, you're the same, aren't you? Or does it just sort of come to you randomly? I think bits are random. Bits, uh, so. so I think part, parts of it are random, parts of it's just working together and yeah. coming up with a riff. and then Yeah, we get inspired to write songs. Yeah. It's like yeah. kind of the same thing, really. Yeah. Like, so what, when what does inspiration... Inspire, yeah, yeah, so what, what, what inspires you? you? What, in, Washing what inspires up or? us? All sorts, we get songs... Yeah, I mean, like, like earlier, my best friends. About my my best friends are about our friendship, yeah. and that means a lot to you because we could see how emotional you were getting, and it wasn't just because I was treading on your foot. I was actually welling um, up when we were playing. <laughs> <laughs> it was fantastic. So, and I love the whole creative process and how that strikes because some people, obviously, like writers, have quite a structured approach to their writing, and some musicians just it just comes to them in the shower and they just think, "Ooh, grease is the word." <laughs> mm. <laughs> I do sing in the shower. Now, do you? Now, I, be- I bet the acoustics in the shower make you sound amazing. Even no, more no, amazing no, no. than I you use are. The, I use the shampoo as the mic. <laughs> oh, we've all oh. done that. So we've what's your that. favourite shower song to anyone out there that fancies singing in the shower? Um, I'm quite a Lionel Richie <gasps> fan. <gasps> so Lionel Richie. Yeah. I sing all night long. Huh? Bit of man in the mirror. In the bit, of man in, in the b- bit of man in the mirror. Man in the mirror in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a funny shower there, Alan. He's got a mirrored shower, which I, we don't really want to go into. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. More from the guys in a minute. And we are a mere 20 minutes away from the big show of the evening, the Wednesday night request show here on Stoke Man Force Radio with the lovely Naughty Horty, Matthew Horton himself and the gang, Nick and Simon are gearing up there around the wards as we speak, having a chat to staff and patients and uh, taking requests. So obviously, if you are not um, not fortunate enough to uh, see the guys um, wandering around the hospital, give them a call here live in the studio because I know they'd love to hear from you. 01296331575. But back to us and our movie quiz. Okay, now, now focus, we didn't do very well, boys, did we, gang? Focus. Yeah, no writing mashed potato. <laughs> no writing mashed potato, please. Okay, you're going to get these, all right? Well, okay. hopefully, fingers crossed. Number okay, six. Number six. Number 
the for listening on the wards. Okay. Pen and paper, please. In 1992, please. Kevin Costner and Whitney Houston oh. appeared together in a film oh. that had the biggest selling soundtrack album of all times. <gasps> This film has now been made into a musical oh, yes. on stage. What was the name of the film? Oh, I know this. Uh, Kevin Costner and Whitney Houston. He's thinking. Inspiration's coming for, should isn't we, it? Should we do a countdown? Ten, nine, nine eight. eight. So, no, moving on. Right, Too late. Let's see if we've got a bit of a countdown. <laughs> let's see if I've got a countdown clock here. See if we've Paul, got anything here, Paul. You know, can, like, just um, the pressure's yeah. rising here. Oh, yeah, here we are. Right, rising. Paul. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um... Um, um, it's on the tip of no, your tongue. No, Too late. It's not too late. It's not too late. Still going. Still 19 seconds, Paul. You could clinch it. I'm just dancing. Whitney Houston. Like <laughs> Kevin just Costner. <laughs> Biggest Whitney Houston number ever. Oh, well. I'm going to give them a bit of a clue. He protects her. The song was written by See? Dolly Parton. <laughs> We did right. it. We did it. See? Okay, moving yeah. on quickly. I'm good to you, boys. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Who was the only recording artist to record three Bond themes? And the films were Goldfinger, Diamonds of Forever, and Moonraker. I know Who this. Who was the artist? I know this. Diamonds are forever. Diamonds are forever. Do you like my impression? Sorry, you got to do it in Latin. <laughs> Diamonde es herende, forever ende. <laughs> Bug, you know. right, Did you not on. get my, my impression? <laughs> yeah. Diamonds are uh, forever. forever. I like I, it. It's not great, is it? No, they're, Moving they're still on. not writing <laughs> anything <laughs> down, Carol. They're not writing anything <laughs> down. Okay, but you got that, Carol. I did, you? yes. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Um, Elton John and Tim Rice wrote an Oscar-winning ballad for which Disney film? Oh, I know this and you'll know this. Elton John, Disney film. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Rah. We're we're, we're on a roll Rah. now, aren't we? Is <laughs> that my impression? Are you, Carol, are you helping them? I am helping them because okay. I feel sorry because <laughs> they're amazingly talented. You'll artists. get this one. Okay. If you don't, seriously, I'm sure. going to take you outside and shoot you. <gasps> uh, I'd like to. Can, can we emphasize that no guests were hurt in the making? We still of this find show. the free donuts. <laughs> yeah, you still get the free donuts. Only because in the film Top Gun. Yes. Maverick and Goose do a stunt where they sing in a bar and attempt to pick up a girl. Oh. What do they sing? I've no idea. Hmm. Have we got a Maverick a, and a, Goose? A clue? Top Gun. Shot. They get shot. Everyone gets shot on this show. <laughs> I know that you've seen the film, right? Yeah, I only know Danger Zone. No. Highway <laughs> <laughs> to the Danger Zone. That one. <laughs> right, okay. moving on. She says very right, swiftly yes, to number I'll five. Just, okay, number ten. Number uh, ten. Zac Efron played the lead in the massively popular high school musical films. What other musical film did he star in? And I'll give you a clue. John Travolta played a woman. Um, hairspray. Right, you it told down. me the blooming answer. I'm going to write that down now. Hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Sorry. It was, yeah, it was right. Did you mean to say that in your head? Yes. You oh, meant yeah. to say that in Latin. Sassy yes. raspberry spray. It's right. Spray backwards. Right. Answer answers. one then. Answers so I got are. the bodyguard. The bodyguard yeah. was the Kevin Costner and Whitney Houston film. Alan got the bodyguard. Uh, yeah, only because I helped enough, you. Yeah. <laughs> After <the countdown>. Who <laughs> sang Goldfinger, Diamonds of Forever, and Moonraker? Carol. Shirley Bassey. Oh, of oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Right. Elton John, the Disney film was the Lion King. Lion the Lion King. King. Yeah, everybody Lion got Cat. that. The Lion Cat. Yes. Okay. It's in the down the film market Top version. Gun, Maverick and Goose, in the bar picking up a girl. Right. You never close your right. eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. Right. Uh, she should join our she band. Should join <laughs> She's, Pam, would you like to be um, the second backing singer for Make Out Kiss? Because I'm obviously chief backing singer, but you could be... Da, 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 da. I'll, I'll do, yeah, I'll do the, the desk count or something. Right. <laughs> okay, is that Efron? <laughs> should do the washing up. In what right. other film? Oh, well, well, we know this one now. Don't worry, really. Really. shouted out the answer. Hairspray. Hairspray. It's something you use on your head. So how many did you four get out of five. The, how many did you get on the second round? Uh, well, we only three. answered three. So, you Carol, I think three. on this occasion, I think you I get won. the prize. And at this point, um, we're going to call in our um, Wednesday Night Request Show team because I think we'll do your second mashup, Make Out Kids. So if we could open the door, open the studio door. Um, can I have the Wednesday Night Request Show team in the studio, please? I'd like Nick Simon... You've started a panic. Nick, Simon and Matthew, if you'd like to come in. Hello. Um, we've got a fantastic make-out kids here. Simon, would you like to come in? 
Um, and they're going to do us a lovely mashup, and we would like you to hear it because it's so amazing. Okay. Simon, just going to squash this guitar. Yeah, come in there, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what's this mashup called? Uh, this is called the Brown Eyed Girl. This medley. is called the Brown Eyed Girl Medley, and this is the amazing Makeout Kids playing live here on rock and latin fusion which hasn't been much rock latin but it's been amazing anyway you are allowed to do what you like (laughs) take it away amazing guys you're on (laughs) awkward (laughs) that that was a (laughs) hamster squeal (laughs) it's one of those twangy moments is it of silence where they tune (laughs) and it's ding doing good that'll do that'll do okay what you counting then okay do i yeah, go on. I'll Three let donuts. you. Count him in. <laughs> this song's called, uh, no, Medley, Medley. Let's go. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Do 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 when the rains came We're down in the hollow Oh, we're playing a new game Laughing and a running Hey, hey Skipping and a jumping In the misty morning Fuck the heart do, 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 do. My brown eyed girl My brown eyed girl Da, 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 da. When the sun shines, we'll shine together Told you I'll be here forever Said I'd always be a friend Took an oath, I'ma stick it out till the end Now that it's raining more than ever Know that we'll still have each other You can stand under my umbrella You can stand under my umbrella Ella, Ella, A, A, A Under my umbrella Ella, Ella, to my umbrella Baby, you're a firework So come on, let your colors burst We'll make them go high, high, high As they shoot across the sky High, high Some nights I stay up cashing in my bad luck Some nights I call it a draw Some nights I wish that these lips could build a castle Some nights I wish they'd just fall off But I still wake up, I still see your ghost Oh Lord, I'm still not sure what I stand for, no What do I stand for? What do I stand for most nights? I don't know anymore If I could, then I would I'll go wherever you will go Way up high or down low I'll go wherever you will go And it's happened once again You'll turn to a friend Someone who understands And sees through the master plan But everybody's gone And I've been here for too long To face this on my own Well I guess this is growing up Let's eat to the beat a Pizza Hut, a Pizza Hut can take fried chicken and a Pizza Hut. A Pizza Hut, a Pizza Hut can take fried chicken and a pizza. McDonald's, McDonald's can take fried chicken and a Pizza Hut. McDonald's, McDonald's can take fried chicken and a Pizza Hut. We're going down, down in an earlier round. With sugar, we're going down swinging. I'll be a number one with a bullet. A loaded guard complex, cock it and curl it. We're going down, down in an earlier round. Sugar, we're going down swinging. I'll be a number one with the bullets. A loaded guard complex, cock it and pull it. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Not, 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 not
So don't bow down, stand up high like a mountain top. You'll be just fine in my town. <laughs> in my town. <laughs> Sorry. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher. I didn't burn, burn, burn the ring of fire. Another turning point of the fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go So make the best of this task and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable, in the end it's right I hope you have the time of your life Something unpredictable In the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life I want free Don't <laughs> Guys, that was amazing. That was Make Out Kids here on 1575. What Wednesday Night Request Show team, what yeah, do you make? I just, I just want to say, I know the nurses are listening at the station on uh, Ward 5. Hello, lovely Ward 5 nurses. rush down and tell Betty, I think I've found her some young men. Yes, definitely. Yeah, she's feeling a bit lonely with Betty tonight. She's got no friends. Oh, oh hello, so. Betty. Now, Nick, what do we think? Swan, Grendon Underwood, gig, oh, get yes. them in. Mm. Right, we think yeah, we'd go down a storm there. Over, yes. What do we, Matthew, our lovely naughty haughty, what do you think? He's oh, speechless. Think <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Simon? I thought it was very good. Fantastic, guys. We, Pam, what did you make of that second one? Thank you, guys. I'll let you get on with your show. Sorry. I <laughs> never thought they'd get a Johnny Cash in there. <laughs> oh, yeah, that we managed. That was such a surprise. <laughs> Fantastic. So, Pam, what have we got coming up next from you? Um, well, I'm I'm in the process of writing the follow-up to the 13th Torment. Yep. And funnily enough, because we were talking about speaking Latin earlier on. We were. And one of my main characters in the follow-up book is a Latin teacher. Oh. So, um, Think you yes, might get a few so, musicians in there? Or? And, I've, and I've actually had to do the research to, to do the translation. Oh, so that when Yeah. Latin, so yeah. Isn't that funny how these things come together? It is. And another spooky coincidence, you were talking about tattoos earlier on. Oh, I'm always talking about tattoos. And, and then you had a lovely <laughs> request from my grandchildren. Your lovely grandchildren. And I've got my grandchildren's birthdays tattooed on my oh. arm. How, that's another spooky coincidence. It's like doo-doo-doo-doo, isn't it, in And our tonight? Paul has got one. He's got mum. It is. It's like... I've got my mum. Oh, it's seriously... It, that gets me every time. There's a bit of a doo 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 There always is when I'm in the room, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, what I love, I must admit, to be a bit of a radio alchemist... I love to put different guests together and see how they gel. And you three, it's like you've been best friends for I'm life. Adopt them. We're best friends now. I'm yeah. going to adopt them. Are you I on Facebook? And then, and then obviously She's I'm not on Facebook, you see. Well, She's for not. the writing. For, I have a, a writing, writing page. page. So like yeah, her writing page. Torment. Twitter? Yes. Ooh, but, please, but please like my Facebook writing page. Yeah, we'll that do. That would be lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll Bye. get all that uh, organised. Mm. Um, any more gigs for us, gang? Uh, we've got a few coming <gasps> Yeah, we've got quite a lot, actually, over the next month. Equinox Festival in Stoke Line. Oh, in Stoke Line. October. Now, uh, gang, November the 16th, though, we have a Battle of the Bands competition at a pub in Ellsbury called The Aristocrat. Ooh. And I think you should enter that because you go down a storm to raise money for State Man Voice Radio. We could enter that. Definitely. Yeah. So I think I, any yeah. band that absolutely makes you want to sing along has got to be up there, hasn't it? I think so. And we're, and we're, I've always, I've put my mics down so people don't hear my awful voice, but I'm singing along. <laughs> I'm, I'm there with you, gang. <laughs> yeah, we just... I don't know, really. As, as long as Carol and I can be backup singers. Okay. Yeah, of course you can. Now, have yeah, you yeah. got a song you could play, gang, that's about two minutes, like a, a snippet, <laughs> so we could we could sort of s- s- fit one in, uh, a little, little mini song to say do goodbye? Do no, no, we don't do that. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, yeah? Maybe, yeah. Give that a go, yeah. yeah. What we say? Um, I don't know. Have a go how how long is Idiot? Because that's Idiot's a fantastic about, song. Like four minutes. How about if we did half of Idiot and, half I, of and I went... You're off. Okay, yeah, yeah, that sounds cool. Right, 
This is the first two minutes of lovely Sorry. make-out kids and idiot here on oh, Stoke Man of Horse Radio. I'm an idiot and that's all there is to it. But I'm happy with myself. We're just idiots and that's all there is to this. We're happy with ourselves. Misled direction, the clock keeps turning. It's all downhill from here. Beat myself up for the walls of it. Too. Well, I'm just an idiot like everybody else. I've got my back against the wall again. As I question if the steps I take are right Let my life get out of control again And I'm running out of places I can hide I'm not perfect, I'll settle being second best It's better than nothing at all I'm an idiot and that's all there is to it But I'm happy with myself We're just idiots and that's all there is to this We're happy with ourselves I've got my back against the wall again As I question if the steps I take are right let my life get out of control again And I'm running out of places I can hide I'm not perfect, I'll settle being second best It's better than nothing at all I'm an idiot and that's all there is to it But I'm happy with myself we're just idiots and that's all there is to this We're happy with ourselves Yay! Guys, you have been amazing at Make Out Kids making a second appearance on Stoke Manifolds Radio. Have you enjoyed it? You've loved it, thank you. <laughs> and Pam, you've been, as usual, an absolute delight and I just wish you all the best with your book. Thank you so much, Karen, any time. And so I do hope your listeners will call in and, and get a free copy or write in. Yes. And a free donut. And a free donut. <laughs> Studio, <laughs> Studio smhr.co.uk for so that fun. free copy of Pam's book. And uh, no doubt we'll be seeing you all again soon. Thank you for a great hour. Yeah, thank you, Carol, for having thank us you, back Carol, again. Thank you so the much. Lovely Wednesday Night Request show team are limbering up for a fantastic show. So uh, I'll be back tomorrow night with Entertainment Thursday. Take care. Bye-bye. Naughty Horty up next. <laughs>